Hey, what's up, everybody? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. As we like to say here on Our Class with Herm, time means nothing when you're streaming on the internet. So pick your favorite day, your favorite time, and let's pretend it's that. Christmas morning, New Year's Day. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself talking about all these days. But welcome to Our Class with Herm. If you can't tell, I'm Herm, the only guy here in this room. And I'm an artist and illustrator based in Brooklyn. And I really love baseball, and I love to draw it. And I really want to share my excitement of drawing uh, baseball and just drawing in general with all of you here. So every episode that you turn into here with Art Class with Herm, we're going to focus on a baseball-themed drawing, most likely involving the Mets, because you got to know your audience, kids. So if this is your first time here, welcome. This is actually our 17th episode, which is pretty wild to think about. So we've, we've had lots of drawing skills. We've colored a lot, learned a bunch. But not to worry, if you're a completist like me, you can scroll back on all of the Seven Lines social feeds to see all of our previous episodes. Man, we've drawn well, pretty much. I'm starting to run, running out of stuff, so that's what's great to hear everybody's uh, suggestions and things. So we've drawn Bobby Valentine. Today we're drawing David Wright, spoiler, Mr. Met a million different times. So if that sounds something really cool to you, make sure to scroll back and you can uh, re relive all of those wonderful moments. Uh, you can also check out on artclasswithherm.com. And that's going to bring you to a YouTube playlist of all of our previous classes, too. So that way you can like watch it really easily and stream it to your television and stuff. So let us know which is your favorite. And also make sure to subscribe and share along with friends and family. So that's the best way to get our show to grow and to get maybe some fancier paper and stuff like that. So uh, let us know if you guys like it. Make sure to share with your family and such. Cool. So today is May 20th, which is wild. 2020. I, I haven't left my house in two months, which is pretty nuts. You can tell by my light complexion, no sun. But in our last class on Wednesday, yes, no, Friday, goodness gracious, it, we drew the Shea Stadium skyline together, which was really awesome. One of my favorite parts of Shea that was able to bring back to City Field. So thanks to everyone that drew along with us online. They were awesome. It's one of my favorite things to do is to talk and see all of your drawings afterwards. So like we do in all of our episodes, we chose three artists that we thought did a really awesome job. We want to gift them a $10 gift card to use on the Seven Lines website. So those three people are, we got the Aragetta family. Sorry if I said that wrong, but I love your drawings. They were amazing. We got Ava on there. And I didn't have the name, but we had the Instagram tag. It is at Korth, at Korthman on Instagram. So thanks for drawing. Thanks for sharing. These drawings were awesome. We got a lot of positive feedback on this and some of my favorite ones with this, you got to see people drawing like King Kong on there or maybe their own house and stuff. People had a lot of fun with it. Cool. All right. So before we start drawing today and talking about what we're going to draw, let's talk about what we're going to need. So as we do in every episode, I'm just going to be using a standard eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Nothing fancy. I pulled this right out of my printer. Got it at the dollar store, <laughs> which is cool. Uh, crayons, pens, markers, things like that. Anything that you like to draw with, or if you always wanted to draw with, like pastel or paint and stuff, feel free to grab that. And we're going to use that for our drawing today. But let's talk about what we are going to draw today. So let me get this out of the way. So today, we are going to draw a... A, a cartoony version of the captain, David Wright, one of everyone's favorite players, which is pretty cool. So the one that we're focusing on here is from his last game, which was on September 29th, 2018, which is nuts to think about. I thought that was just the other day. Uh, what can I say about David Wright that hasn't been said? The guy is a class act, probably one of the greatest Mets to ever put on the uniform. But certainly like most of our generation now kind of rolling through. The guy's awesome. Um, I'd love to have a beer with him. High five. Say thanks for all the greatness. Uh, if you, was anybody at that game on September 29th? I was just talking to Darren before that, and there was a seven line outing to that. So that sounds really awesome. I wish I could have gotten the chance. The tickets were so much money. <laughs> I couldn't, I didn't get the chance to go to that one, but I did get to go to the game before. So I have that little bit of a memory on there. Cool. All right. So don't worry. I think this this looks like it might be one of the more challenging drawings we're going to do. And that is only because we're going to work with like a somewhat likeness on the face here. 
But don't worry. I bring that up because I'm going to walk you through step by step, line by line, how to draw it to look like my drawing here. So like I said, don't worry. Once we get past the face, which is just a couple of lines and stuff that we've actually drawn with Mr. Matt and some of our other players, where it's just going to be big shapes for the arms and legs and stuff. So I think we're going to be OK. Sound good? Woo! All right. Cool. Let's do it. So I'm going to pop David right down here. Huh? And if you guys notice, we're trying out something a little different today. We, whoops, we should have like a little picture on the bottom left, I believe, of our final drawing. So throughout the drawing today, I'm going to be pulling up our final drawing like I normally do. But if you needed like a quick glance to see what it looks like overall, you can take a peek at the bottom of your screen there. Sorry, I needed a taste of my delicious coffee. Okay, cool. You guys ready? All right. So like I always do, I'm going to be drawing with my really cool brush pen right here that I love so much. And for this drawing, because we're going to be focusing on this photo of David Wright with like his arm up in the air, kind of waving off, saying goodbye to everybody. We're going to be drawing our paper uh, vertically, which means up and down. So like the long side on the on the side and then the the thinner part on the top there. So what we want to do with this drawing, like we do all the time, is we want to think about where we want to start our first line. So you can see here, if I was to cut the paper in half, which is probably here, that's where we're going to start with our head, then bring our body down and then have our hat up here in the top left corner on there. So just be mindful of that if you're drawing with like, like a marker or, or ink like I am because you can't erase that, but no worries. All right, so like I said, here's our paper right here. I'm gonna draw my head right about here, which means I can have my body here and my hat up here and stuff too. Cool, all right, so the first thing we're gonna do is when I draw with ink, I like to focus on a focal point. That way we can build that one bit and then build around that. So for that focal point for today is going to be the nose. So draw my nose right here, so I got my pen. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with a line like this. Just a line like that right there. I know it's super small, but you see that right there? That is just going to be like the bridge of his nose, the side. And once I have that, I'm just going to have a little circle that comes up. Just something like that. So we kind of have like this circle on top of a line right there. So now what we're going to need is we're going to draw on those nostrils, right? So I'm going to start on the left. I'm just going to have this line that comes down and up like this. So it's kind of like a, like a half circle with like a bend on it. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So just this kind of a line right there. So you guys see that? That is like a generic nose. <laughs> you could pretty much use this type of thing for anybody that you wanted to draw. And that nose, it's always what I do. It's like a circle in the middle. And then these two little bumps, almost like the letter C on both sides, right? All right, so now that we got that nose there, I'm going to come up on the other side and I'm going to draw another little line that comes up and kind of curves up at the top. Something just like that. So the reason that we do that is that's like the middle part of his nose that we're going to line up with like his eyes. So if you ever look, when you're drawing somebody's face, most of the time the nose goes right up into like the middle of your eyes in a way, like right to the top. And then there's like your eyebrows, right? That come across like this. So you can see this is like the top part of my eyes to my nose. So that's where we're at right now. So now that I have that right there, I'm just gonna lightly take my pen and I'm just gonna make this line that comes across like this. Just a little kind of line like right there. And that's gonna be like where we're gonna put our eyebrows. And again, don't worry about if that line's right there. We're going to cover that up in just a second with certain lines like folds and eye, eyeballs and um, eyelashes and such like that. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw David Wright's eyebrows. So he kind of has like these bushy eyebrows, right? So they're going to live on this line right here. So I have that thin line here. And then I'm just going to put push my pen down a little bit and kind of get it like a little bushier. So you see, like in the middle, like closer to the nose, that's where the eyebrow is going to be the biggest. And then it's going to thin out towards the back end, away from the nose. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, it's, it's fatter, closer to the nose. 
and then gets a little thinner like that. There you go. Looks like Groucho Marx or something, right? Almost there. All right. So now that we have that, you can kind of see where we can kind of base the rest of our drawing now, right? Because we have our nose and our eye eyebrows. So let's add in our eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little curved line on both sides of the nose right here. So something like that. Looks like he's squinting, right? That's going to be the top of our eyeballs. So I'm going to leave the eyes for right now so we don't focus too much on that. And I'm going to come down and we'll build in the rest of our face and then we'll go in and we'll add the eyes later. Sound good? Cool. All right. So now we're gonna draw his mouth. So as you can see in this photo, with, the, with the, this drawing rather, uh, it's like a somber moment, David said, right? He's played his whole career with the Mets and everyone's kind of bummed. So he's gonna look a little sad on this. So we're gonna have like a little, kind of like a straight kind of mouth, you know, he's thinking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come right be below our, our nose right there. I'm gonna line it up. So right here, kind of like at the end of this nostril here, I'm just going to draw a line that comes down like this. So basically that mouth just lives about the length of his nose. So now on the left side of his mouth, I'm just going to draw this little line down here. It's totally little. This is just something artists are going to realize when you're done your book. Thank goodness I put that. <laughs> and that's like the little smirk in his mouth. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to draw like the top part of his lip. So let me draw it down first and then I'll pop it in. So you see that that first line we made and then that top part we made. All it is is this just kind of like a bump little line. So it comes up a little curve down and then bumps back up again at the end. What's really cool about when you're drawing like a face or something small, the face isn't the focal point of this drawing. It's kind of like everything all. So it doesn't matter if your line's perfect. You just want to add a little something to give it that little bit of a depth overall. So now that we have that little lip in there, right underneath it, I'm going to have this little curved line that comes down underneath that part. So you see that part with the nose and then we made the mouth. And right underneath, I put that little curved line at the bottom there, almost like a little smiley face. That is just the bottom part of the lip. And again, that's just a little kind of little definition shape for us right there. Let's sip of that coffee. Hmm. Excuse me. All right. If you guys can recommend a delicious kind of coffee I should buy. I just got the generic one from the, <laughs> from the grocery store. Not so good. Does the job, though. You can write that in the comments for me. All right. Cool. So now that we got this going right now, what we're going to do is let's go in and let's draw David Wright's outline of his face. So you can see in the drawing here, David has this like, he has like a very like chiseled face, right? So it like comes down like to like a point and he has this like jaw line right there. So we're going to draw something similar to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my line like right here, kind of like right. So here's the eye and just right here, just a little bit below. And I'm going to come down like this. And then I'm going to curve in like that. So you see, I brought that line down. It's almost like I drew like a, like a really long, fancy looking letter S. So again, I came down, made that little curve, and then came down for his jawline. Now for his chin, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come in a little bit from that line, and I'm just gonna make this like kind of like a curve line right there. Just a little bump there to kind of give like the definition of his face, right? Now. On this side here, just to kind of follow along with the same shape of his face, I'm going to come over on this side. You can hear, my, that's my dog Daikon barking. She's hungry. <laughs> so we're going to draw right here. Draw another kind of like this curved shape right there. There you go. So you can see, right, with just a couple of lines, we're starting to get a resemblance of, a, of the, the shape that we want, right? Cool. All right. So. Now we're gonna add in those smile lines. So you know, like you have like your cheeks, they add those like those lines in your face. So I'm gonna add one over here on the left. So I'm just gonna come down. 
and add that in like right there. And then another one on the other side there. You can just see those little like frowny kind of lines right there. All right. So now what we'll do is let's go in and add his ears. So on the right side over here, to make an ear, I'm just going to come in. And I'm going to make like this shape. So if you've ever drawn along with us before, so we do this all the time with our ears. It's kind of like an upside down number three. So our eye is going to come right here in this little bump. Or excuse me, our ear rather. So it's going to come up, curve in, and then fold down a little bit there. So it's almost like two lines. So it's like this line here, stop, and then make another line right there. And then we're going to follow along in that a little bit. So I'm just going to come in here again, just make like this kind of like a little line on the inside there. Make like this Y shape. So you see, you see that right there? There's kind of like that little shape on the inside to give the folds in his ears. So now that we have that, we're going to draw our other ear. It's going to come right about over here. So I'm going to follow along and I'll draw my ear like right here. So to do that, I'm just going to make like the letter C. So I'm going to come down. Excuse me. And make our like I'm going to make like this kind of shape right there. You see that? Almost like a letter C in a way. It's like a C with this little bump on the end there. Great. And in this part here, I'm going to follow that along with another little line. And this line there, that is just for you and me again, because that just adds a little bit of fold in his ear to make it look like it's part of his face, right? All right. So we're almost done with the face, which is the toughest part, right? All right. So now we're going to add in some more facial features here. So let's go in and add the top of his head. So I'm just going to have this like kind of like a bump line right there, right above the ear between the eye. And that's where his eyebrow is. And I'm going to come up and draw this kind of like a curved line up here like that. And that's like his forehead there. So this is where you can have fun. If you want to give David right like a cool mohawk or an afro or something like that, you could totally do that. I'm going to go for a more conservative kind of look here, just like kind of his haircut here. And you can kind of see what it looks like. But I'm going to put this side by side for just a second so you can see. And what I'm going to do is just loosely with my pen, I am just going to like kind of like draw out really easy, loosely where I want his hair to be. So basically, I'm just kind of following the shape of his head. And then we'll add in his hair there. So you can see right there, I just loosely kind of put in where I want his hair to be. You see that kind of like that loose again. He said like how about like that little bump in the top of the head little sideburn there in the back of his head. Now the reason I drew it so loosely like that is I can go in and I'm, when I add in like the the um, what am I looking for the hair strains you know the, the the flow in the hair and stuff we can fix up any inconsistencies. So I'm just going to add a couple of lines down here just to kind of add a little definition to his hair and I'm just kind of making these like short little lines now these lines that I'm adding in here, I am just like following along with the shape of the hair. So don't worry if it's not perfect. We are just giving that little illusion of hair here. So I have a little, little cow like there. Look at that, Woo. <laughs> kind of pop that in right there. And then maybe a couple of little dots. So you can see, I am just adding in a couple of shapes right there, a couple of quick lines to just give the illusion of hair. Maybe there's a little hair here on the side. I'll throw another couple little lines there right there. Maybe just a few more. So don't worry if it doesn't look perfect. We're just giving a little bit of something here. All right. So that's what we're looking like right now. It looked much better too once we add our crayons in in a minute. So now in the forehead here, I'm just gonna add a couple of lines like this. And these lines here, that's just like folds in his forehead. Just added a couple lines in there. All right. So let's add those eyeballs there. So as you can see in our drawing here, his eyes are kind of, we're going to have his circles looking over to the right, kind of looking down a bit. So I'm going to do the same thing here. 
So on the right side of both of my eyeballs here, I'm just gonna add a little circle. Just a little one on the side there, and then another one like right here. So you see those? Just two circles on both ends on the right hand side of that, because he's looking down. Then I'm going to just kind of color mine in with a little bit of black so you guys can see a little better. And what I did there is I just left a little bit of white. So you see how it's black and there's just a little bit of white in those eyes? That's like the pupil, just to give a little more definition to his eye. All right. So now that we have that, I'm just gonna take one other curved line and like go underneath on the bottom there. So you see, right, those circles I just drew? And I just drew those two little curved shapes underneath those eyes. That's just, again, like the bottom part of the eyeball to give a little more definition. <laughs> All right. That was crazy, right? You just drew David Wright's face, his hair, his mouth, his ears. Pretty amazing, right? So all those skills that you just learned for that technique, you can draw that with any kind of face you want. You know, it's always got a basin on the nose, the eyes, the mouth, and you can go through. Pardon me. All right, so now that we did that, let's go in and now we're going to add in the parts of his body up here. So we're going to start here and then work up this arm and then work our way down on the rest of the jersey. All right, so for that, let's get his neck in. So his neck is going to come like right here. So I'm going to come on this far part of the ear. And I'm just gonna draw this line that comes down like this. Something like that right there. Now, the, so that's one part of his neck. Now this part of his neck, I'm not gonna draw it here. I'm gonna come in a little bit here because this is like his jawline. So I'm gonna kind of match it up where we drew this little cheek, cheek uh, muscle here, right there. So I'm gonna start it like right about here. So I'll come down like this. There you go. So now we got something kind of looking around like that. So at the bottom here, I'm just going to come up. We're going to curve this around. Kind of like that curved line on the bottle. That, bo bottle. Goodness, on the bottom there. So I have this curved line that just comes from this part, and I curve it up a little bit right there. All right, so now that we got our head in there, let's go in and add our jersey. So over on this side right here, I'm going to take a line that's going to come down like this. Just a little line right there. That's going to be like the top part of his shoulder where his jersey is. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to build this curved line. That's going to come down just like this. This is my favorite because we just worked so hard on this face and now we have this really funny shape. <laughs> so you can see that we got that shoulder line right there and then we came down and this is going to be like the side of his body. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come up here on this line we made here and I'm going to come up again and I'm going to make kind of like this, this kind of like a curved line going up. See that right there? Because his arms up, he's waving his hand in the air. Then I'm going to come at the top of that line and I'm going to come down with this bend and I'm going to finish it off with this kind of like curve line at the bottom right there. You see that? It's very similar to that line that we made for the cheek over here. So we had that curve line coming down right there. All right. So now we're going to draw his arm. So like we always talk about here, your arm, it's always thicker towards your elbow and it gets thinner towards your wrist because that's where like your muscle is right and your forearm so we're going to do that we're going to think about that here when we draw it so we're going to have this part of the arm then you can see it gets a little fatter and then thins out towards the wrist so we'll do that here too so i'm going to have a line that comes up like this so i just took where i added my sleeve there and i had my line coming up now i'm going to make another line here I'm going to start down a little bit, and this is the forearm. So again, it's going to be a little bit wider, and then it's going to thin up towards the top. So we have something like this right now. Now, if you wanted to get crazy and have like David Wright's arm like 100 feet long and like a thousand sheets of paper up, you should do it. That sounds really fun. <laughs> I want to see it. That sounds cool. All right, so now that we got that right there, 
but we're going to add the rest of his arm. So I'm going to follow the same thing I did here, but I'm just like flipping it around. All right, guys, so I got my arm there. So now here, I'm going to come down, not the whole sleeve, but maybe something like this. Come down up here, and I'm going to bring in this arm, like that kind of a shape right there. And I'm going to fill it into with the top. So again, a little wider towards the elbow, and then gets thinner up towards the wrist. So we got something like this right now. You can see his, like, this is his sleeve, and then his arm coming up. Now on this side here, just going to finish off the sleeve while we're down here. I'm going to come up, and I'm just going to make this line that comes down like that and curves in with that part of the sleeve. Another line right there. So you can see there, I have like the sleeve, it comes up. I have the line that comes around. There's that in right there. How are you guys doing so far? Hope you're having fun. Don't worry if it doesn't look exactly like you want. Once we add in the color and continue the drawing, we're going to keep going forward with it and it's going to look awesome. All right. So now we're going to draw his hand. So at the top here at the wrist, we're going to draw his thumb. Well, you know how we always say on our classes, it's almost like a sausage kind of shape. Oh, sorry, I'm shaking the camera there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in right here and I'm just going to build in this kind of shape. You see that right there? So it's like you build in this kind, it's like a circle that comes up. And then we add in this part of the thumb, that little bump, and then that part coming down. Like a bowling pin. And then we'll come up over here on this side a little bit, add this a little bit of a line. So now we're going to draw his hat, which is this part right here. So I'll show you how to do this too. It's kind of a few shapes, and then we're just going to color it in. All right, so now that we got it, I'm just going to draw a line. Um, think about how big I want the hat to be. So I'm going to draw this line like right here. So that's kind of like the brim of the hat, where the brim of the hat's going to meet the part of where you put the hat on your head. So I'll pop that right there. And I'm just going to make like this big curved line that comes down. So I'm basically making like another like letter C. Right, and I'm just going to make sure that I can see it. So we kind of have that shape there. So you see at the top, I put that curved line. Now here, we're just making that curve line coming around like that. So that's like him holding the brim of his hat. Now on this side, we're just gonna make like a big oval shape. So I'm just kind of taking like, it's almost like a circle, but a little bit flatter. And I'm just gonna throw that in right there. And this is like the inside of his hat that like goes on top of his head, right? So it'll look like something more in a second, but let's build it out first. So this is the brim of the hat. This is the inside of his hat where his head goes. And remember, we're like looking into it. So this is like the inside if I was to turn it inside out. So at the top here, let's add another kind of a curve line. So I'm gonna have like a line coming up like that. And I'll make another one that comes down like this. So you can see there, so I had like that C, then this circle here, and then that part here. So this is like the top and side of his hat there. All right. So now I'm just going to color this part in. I'm going to color my part in black, just so you guys can see it on your screens better. But if you want, you can color this in whatever color you want. So I'll put that black in there too. And what's neat about using the ink here, for example, is if I messed up on a line or maybe my hand was shaky or something, I can just color that in with the black and you wouldn't even notice it. Now, again, that with my ink here or my pencil or pen or whatever color you're using, I'm just going to like follow along on the inside part of the hat right there. And that's just to make it like a little bit thicker. Again, because we're going to be looking inside of the hat. So you see that right there? So I just colored that in and then I took a little more ink and went around right there. Now, now that we have that, I'm going to come like right here. I'm like the part where the brim of the hat meets the circle that we drew. And I'm going to draw a line that comes up like this. So just one line that comes up. I made mine a little bold. I put in a lot of ink on there. 
And I'm going to come up a little bit on the right. And do the same thing. Just like that. So you get like this kind of shape there right there. So again, we did a step by step. I made one line that came up like that. Another line that came up like this. So add a couple extra things. So at the top here of the hat, I'm just gonna draw another little little circle to get that little button at the top of your hat. There may be a little line right there. So you can see this is kind of like what we want. So it's like the inside of the hat and the top and the brim. Cool, right? It's funny, it, lo it looks so challenging to draw, but when you sit down and look at it step by step, you can see the shapes it breaks it down. And just because my hand's a little shaky, I'm gonna draw a little bit of lines up there. This is a fun technique too when you're drawing. If you see like here, the like parts of it are a little shaky, you can go in with your pen or pencil and just add a little kind of like that heavenly glow like we do on the jerseys a little bit, just to give it a little bit of extra class. So I'll add another little bit there. Just a little couple of lines. All right. So now that we have that, we're going to come over here and we're going to add in this glove shape right here. So I'll put that side by side like this. So this glove shape, it's going to come like right here. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my pen down and I'm going to bring it down to like this. So this kind of a curved line right there. You see that right there? So the thing is, is, you want to have it come up. It's going to be above the jersey a little bit. So this is where my jersey line is going to be, and I have that up a bit. And then now, he has like a finger that's sticking out. So I'm going to draw this like other little bump, little curved line that comes in, just like that on the side. You see that on the bottom? One line coming up, curved at the top, and comes in. So now I'm just going to draw this like kind of this like curved shape another little circle on here right there so you guys you know when you're when you're when you have a like a, a mitt like a glove there's like that part you put your hand in it and there's like that part exposes like your wrist a little bit that's what this area is then i'm gonna add another little heavenly glow on the outside of it just to give a little bit more definition and i'm just gonna color that this part in here and there again just so you guys can kind of see it that's what we're working with right there. All right. So now at the bottom, I'm going to come down with this little curved line right there. And I'm going to come up a little bit again like this. And we're just building out this like basic shape of the glove. You see that right there? Now I'm going to come up like this, kind of like a bend at the bottom. And I'm going to curve up like this. <laughs> it's such a funny shape right now, but it'll look, come together in a few. So you see that there? I had this bend, this curve up there, and that bend coming up like that. All right. And then at the top, this little rainbow shape that comes like that. Excellent. So this is like our glove shape right there. So you can kind of get a little creative with your glove here, what you want the inside to look like. But for me, I'm just going to draw like a similar shape of our glove on the inside here. Just another little kind of like a curve, something like that. Because there's always like that mesh part, you know. Then I'm just going to draw a rectangle coming up on that part right there. You see that rectangle? So I went one line up and another line up here. I'm going to draw another one next to it. So maybe just like this, another one like that. Now, don't worry if it doesn't fit. Mine didn't really, so I just threw like one a line, like right there. Then on the inside there, I'm gonna draw another rectangle, but it's going it's going sideways now. So you see that right there, one there, and one there. Then to really drive it home, I'm just gonna color in this shape here. So let me draw that in real quick, so you guys can see. So I'll put that in right there. So you can see it now well, as I added in that, that dark that dark shape, right? The black of my ink. So basically, I just made this like kind of mesh thing on it. So if you ever want to draw like a crisscross thing, like a pattern like that, it's just you think about the shape and then you draw the other shape behind it. 
so again, like we we've done with our noses on Mr. Met and stuff, we have the shape up, and then we drew the line right behind it. That's our glove. Pretty cool, right? So now we want to draw his arm. So we have his arm coming coming down like this. So it's like it's folded in. You know, he's like holding something. So how we do that is I just want to find where I kind of want it. So this is a finger kind of popping it in. So I'm going to draw one little curved line like right here. Then another curved line like right here. Pop that up a little bit. I messed up a little, but that's okay. And <laughs> we'll fix it. We'll fix it post. So that's there right there. And just like we did with this arm, where it's like, you know, thicker, thicker towards the elbow and thinner towards the wrist, we're going to make a similar shape here. So I'm going to make this kind of curved line. So this is like the side of the hand, like this part, right? And I'm going to come up and I'm going to make this like kind of like a bump shape. Something like that. So just this line that starts at the wrist and then comes up and goes down a bit. Now, very similar on the bottom, coming on this part of the hand, I'm down, I'm going to bend this up, and then I'm going to come up a little bit, just like right there. So you can see, right? It's not perfect, but it gives us the illusion, right, of this is like his arm. So again, like a little bigger, and then thins out to the rest, and the same thing here. Now, at the top here, let's add in the rest of his jersey. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm just going to add in this little line. And this line here just connects, like, this, the jersey, like, the neck hole of the jersey to the glove. And then right here, I'm going to come down, bump in, and I'm going to connect this area right there. So you see I had that line come down and connects. So we have this line. And then, just to fill it out, this part right here, I'm going to continue this line down because this is like the sleeve that pops through. So before we continue drawing real quick, I want to just, I want you guys to take a step back and look at your drawing and think about how awesome you're doing right now. You started with this blank piece of paper. You drew a nose and eyes and a, you drew a face, which is pretty awesome. Then we came in. And with just a few lines, we made an arm and a jersey and a glove. That's pretty awesome. So I want to just take a second to say how awesome you are and how great you're doing. And let's continue, right? So let's finish it out. So you can see how awesome everything is right now. But we have a couple of little extra lines that's really going to bring it on home. So I did this. I kind of went all over the place. So you can just feel good about your drawing laying it out. I think when you're drawing sometimes, it, it, especially when you want to capture like a likeness, you can focus on certain things. Like I got to get the eyes right. I got to get the nose right. But if you ever feel like you're doing that when you're drawing, I say put it on pause. Step away from that part of the eyes, the face, or that part of the drawing that's, that's like giving you trouble. And you can kind of build out the rest. So that's like a nice part on that. That's just a little side note. Okay, cool. Anyway, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to come up here, back up to the hand that's holding the hat. And I'm going to add a couple of fingers, right? So you can see on this drawing there, we got those. So what I'm going to do, just a little curve lines that come down. So I'm going to have one here, just a curve line there, little bump. These are like, like the letter U almost. So you see that? I almost showed it to my computer, the wrong camera. <laughs> that would have been awkward. <laughs> so you see this? It's almost like, again, what is that, like an M maybe if I turned it upside down? Anyway, so that's there. And then at the top here, I'm just going to add like another little curved line. Okay, don't, just kind of like that. I popped that right there, that little curved line to give like the inside of his hand. All right, so let's see. What else do we have? So we have our, our sleeve here. <laughs> See these lines that we added at the top for his jersey? That's like the inseam, like the part of where your sleeve is. If you look at your shirt, there's like that inseam, right? That's what that part is. So I'm going to draw just another little line above that on both sides. So you see that right there? So I just drew another little heavenly glow, if I may, on the top there. And that just, again, just gives a little more definition to our jersey. All right. So right here, 
the jersey I'm going to draw, it's like a button up. So basically, it's like a jacket. You put one on and then this and then you button it up like a jersey. So I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to add a little line, just a little light line that comes through there to see where the jersey would be. So just that line right there. Now, this part of the neck where this, the jersey is, I'm just going to draw another little line right underneath that there. You see that? I just took that line, just drew another shape right underneath it. That way, when we color, it'll look a lot cooler. So on this part of the, of the glove right here, I'm just going to add two more little bumps, little kind of like we did with the fingers. Just these round shapes. So I have one coming in like this, then another one like that. And that's because the glove is folded, right? And it's kind of held in like that. Then I'll add another little heavenly glow right there. And maybe some on the inside there. So these lines aren't mandatory or anything. I just like to kind of add this stuff. Because I think if you add a little, like those little heavenly glows, I keep saying those little accents, those little details, it really brings your drawing together. <laughs> then over here, so this is his arm in our sleeve and our shoulders. Down here, I'm just gonna draw in the rest of our body right there. So you can see I have one line that comes down, like the fold in the jersey, and then another line like this. <laughs> okay, cool, right? All right, so this is where you can have fun. So I am basing off this, my drawing off the photograph. I think it was in the Daily News. This is one of my favorite photos of David Wright. And the jersey I'm gonna use is, this, is like the striped ones with like the blue stripes in there. But if you wanted to draw a different jersey, maybe an away jersey or the black jersey or something like that, go for it. But we'll, we'll, if you want to follow along for this part, I'm going to draw in this type of the jersey here. So there's always like this little circle here on this sleeve. And this is that classic Met logo. So just like that half circle, then another little heavenly glow half circle on the inside. I'm going to write Mets in there little bubble letters. Now again, this is where you can get really creative and kind of add in whatever little flavor you want. Then I'm gonna write Mets right here on the middle of our jersey. So I'm just kind of making these bubble letters here. So just an M. It's like that kind of a script on there. Pop that in. So as I'm adding this in, remember the E is like in the middle when you draw it. That's where like the two parts of the jersey flop in. So as I'm adding this in, how's your day going, guys? Just started, right? It's only noon, not too bad, or depending on what time it is you're drawing on this. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you're staying safe, you're having fun, and I hope you're enjoying this lesson today. I'm having a lot of fun drawing it. So. Like I have my, so I have my Mets right there. Again, I'll just go and add that little heavenly glow, as I like to say. Basically, just some other little, some details. Now, the reason I like to draw this again is when we color it, it gives us another little part where we can fill in and color it, kind of like a coloring book in a way. You can pop that in there. And what's cool is if, while you're drawing this, if you're like, you know what, I want to draw it again. Maybe like add a different jersey or something. Just just go back. <laughs> you can just rewind and keep drawing this over and over. So that's our Mets. So nothing. Number five. Got to throw that in for David, right? David, right? Did you see that? Oh, my God. That was so unintentional, but amazing. <laughs> Pop that right there. So we have our number five right there. And then, um, again, just another little heavenly glow on the inside right there. All right. So we have that right there. Cool. All right. So there you go. You can keep adding some details in here if you wanted. Maybe if there was a certain glove you like you had or, I don't know, a different haircut or something like that, feel free to do it. It's your drawing. You can do whatever you want with it. But this is what I'm looking like right in there. Oops, sorry. And I just, awesome. You guys did amazing. That's pretty sick, right? It looks great. So let's color it in. So 
I'm just going to be using some crayons. I'm going to color in like right up here, kind of fill that in. So like we do in all of our classes, right there in the comments, let me know where you're drawing from. It's really fun. You know, after 17 classes, I'm getting to, we're getting to know each other a little bit, right? So thanks for everyone that's come through and said hello and drawn with us. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Thanks to everyone that shares your drawings. It's really cool when the family draws together. I think that's really special. And I hope that you guys get the chance to enjoy this and have a lot of fun. But let us know where you're drawing from. I mean, we got people from uh, Philadelphia. I thought the, uh, the Ar 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 Greta family, did I say that wrong? Let me know, I apologize. They're, they're just from outside of Philadelphia, which is nice coming through. Hope everything's good, cool with you guys. Gonna add these lines in right here. We, got, we have uh, friends in Milan, Japan, New Jersey, the great state of, different parts of New York and all over the country, which is cool. So let us know where you're coming from. And let us know how you've been keeping busy during this time. Is there like a good TV show we should check out or something? You guys been drawing a lot? So I'm just going to add these lines in right there. Uh, this is one of my favorite kind of jerseys on there. I love this kind of classic jersey. Then I'm going to fill in the Mets part here with the blue. Hey, Herm. Yeah. I got a question for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... You know, you were talking a little bit before about the paper. You said, oh, maybe we can get a paper sponsor, get some better paper here. You know, you're we talking about sharing the show, yada, yada. What is, the, oh, yeah. what is the one thing, this is a little trivia question for you or maybe the people at home. What is the one thing that you use every time during class that is not an art supplies? Not, not something related to art or art supplies every show. In my drawing, what I'm doing? Every time, well, I'll just, I'll, I'll cut to the chase. Coffee. Coffee. Oh, I was going to say coffee, right? <laughs> so maybe we can get a coffee sponsor for the, for the art class with Herm. I, I mean, the kids don't drink coffee, but the parents do. So maybe we get a little coffee sponsor. What do you think? Hey, that sounds great. You know who loves coffee? This guy. I love it so much. <laughs> so I'm just drinking, like I said at the beginning, I'm drinking just like this generic kind of coffee. And it's basically just like dark water. <laughs> but it wakes me up a little bit. Yeah, my wheels start so. to spin a little bit when you started talking about the coffee. All right, as you were. Thanks. <laughs> no, it's funny because I'm always talking to everybody. And I'm like, oh, they're talking back this time. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. Keep it so, going. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Darren. So anyway, so, so our, our heavenly voice in the sky... How you doing? So let us know. Yeah, let us know. What's your favorite coffee? What coffee should I buy and have in my house? I like Dunkin' Donuts, but I know that it's, people are like, I'm, I'm not a coffee snob. I like it, coffee from the deli, to be honest with you. So I'm not too fancy, but just something that has a nice little, little full flavor. And I'm going to add in my jersey, pop in the color up there. I was thinking it'd be fun if maybe we could get some like art class with Herm mugs or something. This one I got, somebody got me because I like helped them officiate a wedding. Kind of fun. That was a great wedding. All right, so I'm just calling, popping that in right there. I'm almost done. A little orange at the top there. And maybe right in here. So you can see, like, I mean, if, if this was a lineup and David Wright mugged you or something, maybe they'd be like, is that David Wright? But it doesn't matter. It's close enough, right, for our drawing out there. But the point of this is we're just having fun, right? We took a few minutes to not worry about all the craziness in the world, maybe not all the stresses of life. We put this down, found the beauty in it, and we're having a lot of fun together. So you can see there's our David Wright there. Uh, like we always do, I always recommend signing and dating your drawing there. So I'm going to sign mine on the bottom right. So I'm like my Herm signature. Little smiley face there. And then today, like we said, is May 20th. So I'm going to pop that right there, May 20th, 2020. And what's really cool about signing and dating your drawing, like we say all the time, you know, when you continue drawing and just like practice and, and learning and stuff, you're going to get better and better and better at this. And what's really cool is you just have a frame of reference. You can be like, oh, you know, on May 20th, this looked cool. But on May 20th, 2021, it looked awesome because I drew it so many times and kept practicing. So that's that there. Guys, let us know 
any future suggestions that you have, you can throw those in the comments there. This came out from one of our um, our other fellow artists in our clubs, which is cool. So that was really neat. Uh, next, so what is it? Next on Friday, man, the days like, confuse me all the time. We're going to be doing like a Memorial Day kind of theme drawing on this. We're still working on that. So we'll have something fun to kind of check in. Make sure you sign and date your drawing. Uh, and thanks so much for drawing with me, guys. This is a lot of fun. It's something I look forward to every week. And I hope that you enjoy it too. So I know we get a chance to chat in our comments and stuff, but I really want to see your drawings. So feel free to share them. I really want to see them and share them with everybody. Because like I said, we have 17 drawing classes in there. I see a lot of the same names and same photos and pictures and stuff. So let, let, let's get see how hard we're working. So let's share your drawings. So if you want, on Instagram, you can tag me at Herm Herman. That's my Instagram. This is the best way to get me. If, you, if Twitter is more your thing, make sure to tag me at hermsterms.com. And make sure to tag the seven line in there too. And we'll make sure that we can kind of share these. And I promise to always repost and make comments and tell you how awesome and how great everything you're doing. Now, if you wanted to practice this and you wanted to, maybe you didn't want to share it or you don't have a social media like an Instagram or something like that, you can email it to me at herm at hermsterms.com. And I'm happy to answer your question. I really want to see your drawings there. And if you wanted to check out some of my other work, you can go to hermsterms.com. See some other of my illustration work and stuff. Maybe that, maybe not Mets or baseball related. I've done some cool dog show things in there. But anyway, if you want to learn a little bit more about me, you can check that out there. But awesome, guys. Thanks for everything. You're amazing. You're going to do amazing things every single day. And I can't wait to see how great your drawing skills are. And I hope you're great. And we'll see you next class. All right. Bye-bye. Let me know your favorite coffees.